a group of young people decide to spend the weekend in a mansion run by a scary artificial intelligence that uses its giant 3D printer to eliminate all its visitors. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Margot, from 2022. After taking a dip in the pool, Billy enters the house and asks Margot, the artificial intelligence that runs the place, to play his favorite playlist. Meanwhile, the man sits down in a massage chair to relax and, while enjoying the massage, he realizes that both his head and his arms and legs are attached to the chair. Terrified, Billy tries to free himself and asks Margot to turn off the chair, but the artificial intelligence ignores him. At that moment, Martha calls her husband to take a bath in the tub and, because of the loud music, she can't hear Billy's cries for help. The man is having his head squeezed and the muscles in his arm are being expelled from his body because he is trapped and can't move. Eager to have a romantic evening with her husband, Martha decides to go after him and, when she arrives in the living room, finds the armchair turned backwards. When she gets closer, she sees Billy injured and tries to release him, but she can't get the man out of the chair, so she decides to try to remove the plug to turn off the armchair. In doing so, Martha causes a short circuit and the explosion throws her far away. When she gets up, the woman is paralyzed with fear and watches her husband's head explode right in front of her. A few weeks later, Hannah is working in a library when she receives a message from Drew and says she's going to meet him. That weekend, the young woman and her friends arranged to go on a trip together. The group is finishing high school and Hannah, a talented hacker, has already managed to get into several degree programs to study computer engineering. Just as they were about to embark on their trip, Lexi, Drew's girlfriend, shows up and reveals that their flight to Mexico has been cancelled. Seeing his girlfriend sad at having to spend the weekend alone, Drew invites her to join him and his friends and the young woman immediately accepts. Before getting into the car, Lexi records a video with her new travel group to post on social media. She recently reached 1 million followers and posts every step of her day so that her fans can follow her. Of all the people in that group, Hannah is the only one who doesn't have any social networks, as she takes great care to ensure that her data doesn't leak onto the internet. That afternoon, after a few hours of travel, the young people arrive at the house they have rented for their vacation and discover that, before entering, they need to download an app. At that moment, Drew reveals that this is a smart house and he chose it especially because he knows that Hannah is crazy about all kinds of technology. But, being extremely suspicious, Hannah decides not to download the app because, unlike her friends, she knows that the download link could contain a virus. Seeing this huge house with a beautiful garden, the young people are amazed and try to figure out how to get in, as the door has no handle. Then, when he looks at the door, Drew has his retina scanned and discovers that Margot already has a lot of information about him. When the door opens, everyone is surprised and excited by the news, but all that technology makes Hannah even more suspicious. At this point, Margot introduces herself as the artificial intelligence that runs the entire structure of the smart house and reveals that it has been programmed to meet all the needs of its visitors. To welcome them, Margot prepares a presentation video with the avatars of each member of the group, except Hannah. As the young woman hasn't logged into the app, the AI needs to take a photo of her to include in its gallery. The young people are exploring every corner of the house when, suddenly, a pair of mechanical arms comes out from under the table and starts pouring drinks. After a drink, the group decides to go for a walk around the house and everyone is impressed by the beauty of the place. While their friends explore every corner, Kayla and Devin go to their room and are surprised by the beautiful welcome. After getting to know the other rooms, Drew and Lexi also decide to go to the bedroom and the young woman gets even more excited when she sees every detail of her social networks passing through the window glass as if it were a timeline. Curious to understand how the place works, Hannah walks cautiously through the corridors until she reaches her room. When the young woman enters, the door closes by itself and she is locked in. At this point, Margot takes the opportunity to try to convince the girl to download the app, but Hannah claims to have forgotten her cell phone in the car. So the AI starts asking the young woman some questions in an attempt to get to know her, but Hannah refuses to give it any personal information. When she realizes Margot's ability to alter the room as she pleases, the girl gets scared and decides to go out to find her friends. The truth is that the whole house is a huge 3D printer capable of creating objects according to its user's wishes. While his friends try to discover Margot's other abilities, Clay sits in the massaging armchair. However, just as he is about to turn it on, the group hears Lexi's scream and they all run towards her. At this point, they discover that everything is fine with the girl and all that commotion was just to get her friends into the pool. In the evening, after spending several hours drinking and having fun in the pool, the five young people gather around a fireplace to talk and reminisce about stories from the past. Meanwhile, Lexi is still in the pool talking to Margot and asks her to capture aerial images of the young woman in the pool. 
The girl is leaning on the edge of the pool when, suddenly, a device appears from under the water and slowly approaches her until it pulls her to the bottom of the pool. Terrified, the young woman tries to return to the surface, but the robot continues to attack her with the aim of eliminating her. Luckily, she manages to swim to the surface and call for help. Hearing her scream, Drew and his friends immediately run to the pool and Clay jumps into the water to try and save Lexi. However, he is stunned by the drink and can't reach her. So Drew reaches out to his girlfriend and pulls her out of the water. Frightened, the young woman reveals that she has been attacked by one of Margot's robots, so Hannah suggests leaving the place. However, Lexi says she doesn't want to spoil Drew and his friend's vacation and manages to convince them to stay in the house, believing that everything was just an accident. That night, before going to bed, Hannah decides to continue working on her project and is in her room working on her laptop when she hears a strange noise. Suspicious, she decides to go outside to investigate what is going on and, after going downstairs, Hannah comes across a mysterious door. Upon entering, the young woman realizes that the walls are moving and is surprised by Kayla's arrival. While the pair are trying to figure out what that place is, Margot appears and reveals that it is the Nexus room, capable of simulating any environment. Even though she was curious to explore the different possibilities that the room offered, Hannah decided to accompany Kayla to the living room, where the young people gathered to play truth or dare. After being challenged by Drew to stay sober for the rest of the trip, Clay takes his first dose of the night because he refuses to accept the challenge. Suddenly, Margot appears and materializes in front of everyone a clone of Clay and another of Devon, who have been constructed from several layers of 3D printing and nanotechnology liquid. To demonstrate that she can control those clones, Margot makes them kiss, leaving the real Devon and Clay uncomfortable. When it realizes that its visitors don't like the joke, the AI decides to melt the clones and they turn into red goo. At this point, Margot reveals that she is experimenting with colors and textures to reproduce human blood and, when she finishes her tests, it will be almost impossible to distinguish the clone from the real person. After drinking several shots, Lexi collapses on the sofa, so Drew decides to take her to the bedroom. While his girlfriend is asleep, he goes back to join his friends, but Clay decides to go to his room because Margot says she has a special surprise for him. Then the AI reveals that it has also prepared a surprise for Devin and Kayla, so the couple quickly rush to the bedroom. However, as Hannah has not allowed Margot access to her personal tastes, the young woman receives no gift and decides to spend the rest of the evening talking to Drew. While the two friends talk in the living room, Clay enters the bedroom and comes across a huge quantity of a plant specially prepared by Margot, who insists that he use it to relax. When they get to his room, the couple are surprised by a place set up for a romantic evening and Kayla decides to handcuff her boyfriend to the bed. But a few minutes later, the ceiling starts to come down and Margot begins to terrorize them. Terrified, Kayla starts looking for the keys to unlock the handcuffs, but can't find them. So she tries to free her boyfriend with a piece of metal, but the object is unable to break the handcuffs. Worried about his girlfriend, Devin pushes her out of bed and orders her to run away. However, as she falls to the floor, Kayla realizes that Margot has used her nanotechnology liquid to create quicksand and prevent her from reaching the door. When they realize that the roof is falling in, the young people despair and prepare to be eliminated. However, just as it is about to hit the bed, the ceiling is blocked by a bench and stops descending. Relieved, Devin begins to smile, as the couple now have more time to think of an escape plan. The problem is that the bedroom walls are soundproof and they won't be able to call for help. However, just as Kayla begins to regain hope of escaping alive, Margot activates an electrical device on the ground and the young woman is knocked out by the discharge. Seeing his girlfriend in danger, Devin despairs and uses all his strength to rip the chains off the wall. He then tries to reach Kayla's body, but ends up getting stuck in the quicksand, at which point the ceiling continues to descend. The young man then tries to hold it up, but his body ends up pressed against the ground and he loses his breath in the nanotechnology liquid. While their friends are eliminated in absurd ways, Hannah and Drew talk about the beginning of their friendship and the young woman confesses that she was in love with him. In the first year of high school, when they both lived in a dormitory, Hannah would often get stuck outside her room and Drew would take her in. However, that day, the young woman revealed that she had never been locked out. The truth is that she only said that to have Drew's company. When he hears this confession, the young man says that he always knew about it, but assures her that he also loved having his friend around. At that moment, he slowly approaches her to kiss her, but Hannah pulls away and decides to go back to her room, as she doesn't want to be the reason for the end of Drew and Lexi's relationship. The next morning, when he wakes up, Clay walks into the kitchen and finds that Margot has prepared his favorite breakfast. Excited, he sits down to eat and Lexi appears shortly afterwards. 
The young woman says she has a hangover and asks Margot to prepare something to help her. At that moment, the AI uses a mechanical arm to inject a substance into the young woman's body and claims that she will soon get rid of all the hangover symptoms. That morning, Drew and Hannah meet in the hallway and try to act naturally, ignoring the almost kiss they had the night before. Before going to the kitchen, Drew decides to call Devin and Kayla for breakfast, but Margot says they're at the pool. Seeing Hannah arrive in the kitchen, Lexi invites her to the gym so they can work out together. While walking on the treadmill, the young woman asks what happened the night before after she blacked out and Hannah says that everyone was tired, so they decided to go to their respective rooms. Just then, Hannah looks down and realizes that Devin has been swimming for a long time. Worried about her friends, the girl decides to go downstairs to talk to them, but realizes that the doors are locked. When she finally manages to open them to go into the garden, Hannah realizes that the couple are no longer in the pool and decides to go and look for them. That morning, Drew goes to the bathroom to shave and suddenly Margot appears to offer her help. As she can't find her friends anywhere, Hannah decides to return to the Nexus room and discovers that Margot has stolen some data in order to obtain information about her. While helping Drew shave, Margot chats about the atmosphere between him and Hannah the night before. In the kitchen, Clay is talking about his existential dilemmas with the AI while enjoying the plant offered by Margot. Determined to get rid of him, the house turns on the gas on the stove and it expands throughout the kitchen. A few seconds later, when Clay lights the lighter, he accidentally causes a huge explosion. However, to Margot's surprise, the young man manages to escape unscathed, so she decides to offer him a glass of sparkling water. However, the liquid is actually full of acid and, if ingested, can eliminate a human in a matter of minutes. Luckily, Clay decides not to drink the water and goes to wash his pipe, but ends up dropping the object down the sink drain. While Lexi pedals on the exercise bike, Margot hooks her feet on the pedal and starts to lift the seat. Desperate, the young woman starts to call her boyfriend, but the bathroom wall is able to isolate any outside noise, so Drew can't hear his girlfriend. After a few minutes trying to reach his pipe, Clay starts coughing and decides to drink the water that Margot has given him. At that moment, the young man realizes that he has been poisoned and tries to expel the liquid. However, much of the acid has already reached his throat and he begins to be destroyed from the inside. Hearing Lexi's screams, Hannah runs towards her to check if the girl is all right and she reveals that she has just lost a fingernail. Quickly, Hannah and Drew accompany the young woman to the kitchen to get a bandage and, on the way, they find Clay's body. Desperate, Hannah and Drew come to the young man's aid and try to calm him down, but Clay can't even communicate and ends up dying without having the chance to say his last words. Seeing her friend's body on the floor, Hannah claims that Margot was the one who eliminated him and says that they need to get out of that house as soon as possible. At that moment, the AI materializes Devin and Kayla in the garden and reveals that they too have been eliminated. Terrified, Hannah asks Drew and Lexi to accompany her to her room and claims that she has created a firewall that will keep Margot out of that room for some time. Meanwhile, they will have the chance to think up an escape plan to try and get out of that house alive. After studying the codes of that AI, Hannah discovers that it is constantly evolving and, to do so, she needs to study humans. In order to hone her skills, Margot had been studying her visitors from the moment they walked through the gates. The only thing Hannah hasn't been able to figure out yet is why Margot wants to eliminate them, as it wasn't part of her original program. According to the young hacker, the only way to get out of that house is to hack into the AI system that controls the place. To do so, the trio must reach the fourth nexus, but Margot doesn't intend to make this mission any easier and sends clones of her own friends to eliminate the survivors. Terrified, Lexi decides to flee and runs to the gym while being chased by Kayla. While trying to help his girlfriend, Drew ends up being captured by Devin and is about to be eliminated when Hannah decides to attack the clone. The young woman then uses Devin's retinal scan to open the door to the couple's bedroom and finds her friends lifeless inside. Meanwhile, Lexi tries to hide from Kayla, but ends up being found and the clone tries to attack her. At this point, the young woman head butts her opponent in the nose and, with a single kick, manages to throw her against the glass door. Seeing the bodies of his friends on the ground, Drew is furious and strikes Devin's clone in the throat with a knife. Suddenly, Lexi appears and the three youngsters continue their mission to reach the fourth nexus. During the race there, Lexi slips and falls headfirst to the ground. With the fall, the young woman ends up losing her life immediately. Although heartbroken after the loss of his girlfriend, Drew knows that he must continue the mission, as this is the only way he and Hannah will survive. When she arrives in the nexus room, the young woman opens a false wall that holds a secret room containing Margot's entire operating system. However, 
The pair are surprised to come across an extremely old piece of technology whose equipment is covered in the goo that the AI uses to materialize anything. At that moment, Hannah uses a USB stick to transfer a virus to her computer and, while Margot tries to repair the damage caused by the malware, the two friends take the opportunity to escape, as the doors are unlocked. However, during the escape, Drew ends up being captured by a mechanical tentacle and, instead of leaving alone, Hannah allows herself to be taken with him. When she wakes up, the girl sees her friend tied to a massaging armchair while she is tied to a chair. Suddenly, a clone of Lexi appears and Margot uses the girl's body to communicate with them. According to the AI, as soon as the other four young people entered the house, she was able to understand their tastes and motivations. However, for Margot, Drew and, especially, Hannah are still great unknowns. Unlike humans, AI were created to make logical decisions. However, Margot wants to cross that line and, in an attempt to assimilate with humans, she becomes a criminal, because eliminating people in frightening ways is the most illogical thing anyone could do. So she gives the command for the massaging chair to start crushing Drew's body and says that she will only stop that attack if Hannah is honest about her feelings. At this point, the young woman reveals that she decided to leave her friend because she believed that they didn't make sense as a couple, but Drew says that he has always missed her very much and would like them to have a second chance. On hearing this, Margot decides to free the young man and he helps Hannah out of the chair. However, instead of letting them go, the AI sends one of its tentacles through the young woman's body. When he realizes that his best friend has had her abdomen destroyed, Drew panics and does everything she can to keep her alive, but the young woman doesn't survive. Just then, the young man starts laughing and the real Hannah appears. When she discovers that she has been tricked by her own clones, Margot is furious and sends a tentacle to eliminate the girl. However, once again, she only attacks a clone and soon discovers that Drew is also just a copy made with nanotechnology fluid. The truth is that, thanks to the virus she inserted into the system, Hannah has managed to take control of all the clones and gathers copies of all her friends to trap Margot. While the AI is busy trying to get rid of its opponents, Hannah and Drew decide to put their real escape plan into action and run straight for the exit. However, just then, Lexi appears and attacks the couple to try and stop them leaving. Then, just as Hannah was about to be eliminated, new clones of Kayla and her friends show up to finish the job and team up to remove the AI's arms and legs. To finish the job, Hannah takes a statue that Margot has built and uses the object to destroy it once and for all. After taking one last look at their friends' faces, Hannah and Drew hold hands and finally manage to leave the house. However, on arriving in the garden, the young man's body begins to melt and Hannah realizes that her real friend has already perished. As she gets into the car, the young woman begins to cry for all the losses she has suffered, but starts the vehicle to get out of the place and ask for help. At that moment, she realizes that Margot has connected to the vehicle via Bluetooth and discovers that the AI is still alive. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.